It's a Friday, oops, I'm just out with Connie, not been out for a little walk for a while, so um, obviously she's so used to the van, she doesn't want to leave the van really, she lost his confidence a little bit, so she's got to trust me, so what we're doing at the moment, we're just stopped on the bench, and I'm making sure she can have a little look around, she's jumped on the backpack and had a little ride on the backpack as well, not just walked as much, and what she's doing, she's having a little look around, and then running back, and not getting tangled by the tree like that, but like, no, she's got tangled, back up Connie, back up Connie, <laughs> Back up, good girl, good girl. And she should come running back to me and she'd jump up and she'd jump on the backpack um, to make sure she's got her safety area. She'll always, whoops a daisy, make sure she knows where she's coming to, whether it's me or the van. Good girl. So she's calling because obviously she can't see the van. Good girl, Connie. Um, and again, like I said, we've not done much walking and um, she really needs to. Good girl. No, trust me again, here she comes. Good girl, and then she'll come to me, make sure I'm okay. Good girl, make sure I'm here. Get her praise, you clever girl. And oops, get tangled around the bench. Get the safety net sorted. Have a little play, have a little bit of praise. Good girl. Um, she'll jump on my shoulder, jump on the backpack, or just jump on the bench by me. Good girl, and then she'll have another little explore. Good girl. She's starting to relax now, as you can see. Start to relax a little bit of a play. Uh, but obviously it's somewhere different, and the van is her home, and she, the last obviously week and so she's got used to having that as her security blanket and uh, I've been obviously focused on doing a lot of internet work and um, not gone out so much I've also pulled my car and I saw that's my excuse um, so we're limping around a little bit today but I thought we need, really need to sort of get back out here and obviously she's uh, having to be wary but also trust me and we need to get that bond going again now. So this is lovely that she's also coming to me, standing on me, jumping on me. Um, she's checked my shoulders there. She's checked the bag is there. Um, and she tends to sort of go for a little walk and then jump on me. So I'm just letting her settle at this bench at the moment to make sure she is aware that I'm here, make sure she's aware she can jump up on my shoulders. Um, we've already seen a walk on a dog and that was fine and a cyclist and that was fine. Um, so I'm wanting her to feel comfortable out here so she'll actually have a run around and stretch her legs and um, give her somewhere new to explore. Obviously when we're at the lakes and everything, I know we do go for, do go for walks with younger with the pram, um, but this is just me and uh, she's going to have to sort of um, start getting used to this and start getting used to leaving the van alone. Good girl Connie, good girl. Um, you ready for a walk? So let's see what we can do then. There is she. Connie come then. smells and she's making sure she's got her escape route so it's good for her to be out and exploring smelling and um, see on different areas but obviously it's sensory overload for her and at the same time her ears are going like crazy making sure she's got her eye on things let's go a little bit this way um good girl hope she'll come after me good girl there we go my right move she should be coming out of the way she should follow me with or without the lead so I should have the confidence that if I walk, I shouldn't have to pull her. She should automatically follow me. And this is why we're coming back out and doing a bit more um, walks while she's his age. Uh, right, and leave the van alone. Um, she says she's still looking around. See, she should automatically keep with mum. Good girl, Connie. Good girl. And then she'll have a little look around. A little, small, a little trace. And then she should come back to me. So there's a bit of a video. So you can see her right here, good girl, good girl Connie. There you go, see, she'll go out and then she'll come back, she'll go out and then she'll come back. Good girl Connie. Still calling for the van. <laughs> good girl Connie. So we'll come top of the hill so it's a bit more, we've got a space to see if anything's going to come. Give her a bit of confidence. So I'll probably let her play up here for a bit and then come back. Around this off trip around and go forward. Have her on edge on time. Up. There we go. Oh, here she comes up on top of my shoulder. And I'll talk to Miss Rachel Pieces if you see her or not. <laughs> um, so she's a uh, hang on, she's blocked. Oh no, the wind blew it off. Hello, on my shoulder. I don't know if you can see her or not. Whoop, she's going back down again. There she goes again. And uh, so there we go. She's up, checks, talks. A little bit of a worry chirp. Good girl. Her tail's going now. 
Are you going to go hunting? Where are you going to go? Do you want to go explore? Well then, come a little bit around. Do you want to? We'll go back the way we came. That might be easier, mightn't it? Yeah, you go back the way you came. Tails up, look, happy tail up. Nice and confident. She'll take the lead when she's happy. <laughs> like that. And good girl! Wants to play. Good girl! Yay! See, when you go back to an area that she recognises and knows and she's happy with, she'll relax. Good girl! Are you playing? Are you playing? Come on in. Yay! Good girl! Look at that. Isn't that lovely? That's the happy, she's happy cat, I want to say. That's the arch back, frisky, fruity little munchkin, aren't you? Good girl! See, we were sat here just now, didn't we? So she knows it. Very, very intelligent. Doesn't take much. Good girl to be happy and confident. I know she's on an area that we were sat on just now, using that as her base. And we look around to see what she could attack and catch. And also keep an eye on where I am. And good girl. Because you can jump on me if you want to, can't you? Good girl. Yeah, we'll go back this way and give her a bit of a run around. Rather just go around in a circle and it's new all the time. By going one way and going back the same way, she should have a bit more of a run around on the way back. Good girl. She should look a little leopard, didn't she? She's beautiful. She's growing a little bit, she's growing slowly. Um, like a bit more of a weight on her, even though she's not very much in size. Um, but I wouldn't cross her. Good girl, Connie. Look at that tail. Oh, fluffy bum, aren't you? You're all fluffy bum. And obviously, normally she's bipping the tail up nice and straight, trotting along. But she's really, really wary today. Ready to jump on anything that goes past. So we've got a bit of a squeak in the works today. And she goes relaxing this little play. Anyway, got a video just to show that we're out and about. And uh right, darling. <laughs> and she's enjoying herself. She's a good girl. She have to um, invest in a longer extension lead soon. Um, She's just stunning, isn't she? She's just a beautiful little cat in miniature. I'm really impressed with her. My little darling. Sticky did good choosing her. Love you, Sticky. Love you, Connie. Thank you, spirits. Ow! <laughs> You're coming up. Good girl. There she goes. I'm the totem pole that she climbs up. <laughs> good girl. Sort your leg out. Good girl. Legs. Good girl. Alright, okay, we'll say farewell, get on with our walk. Bye bye.